coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to next level go uh, sorry Allegro 5 platformer tutorial and this tutorial we are going to be creating ent the entity base class for our players and enemies and all that good stuff so sorry uh, but okay so players and enemies share a lot of similar properties they have sprite sheets they they move so on and so forth they only have a they only have like different things like you have to use the controls in order to control the player for enemies uh, they control themselves they might have a field of view or the range that they can move so on and so forth right uh, so they are they have a lot of similar properties so uh, they, they have some differences but a lot of similarities so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an entity class and within this entity class we're gonna make a load content method and in here we're going to make a vector and we have to include vector so we're going to include the vector and we're going to have a vector of strings so std string we have our attributes and we have our vector and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this when I post it, but uh, it's a single string vector of contents. So it's like we have our attributes and contents, but it's not a multi-dimensional vector. It's just a singular dimension or whatever you like to call it. So we have our unload content. We have our update which is going to consist of Allegro vent EV and we have our input manager so we have our draw and what does this mean since we're using Allegro functions we have to include Allegro 5 and we have to include the input manager class okay so we've got that basic stuff set up and don't forget the semicolons so we've got that that stuff set up so now let's go to entity.cpp and we'll say entity.loadcontent and let's just copy this to make the process faster paste it in there entity on load content void entity uh, update and let's copy this too we'll just copy these two right here paste it right here and all we gotta do is just put entity in front of it So we got that done and put that right there okay so we got our classes um, and, and such set up so for entity class there are some protected methods that we are going to have so we're going to have uh, our position our previous position and velocity we are going to have an image and what else do we need hmm uh uh and you know what we'll just make this we'll make this public and we also need an animation uh we'll need a boolean to activate the gravity once we get around to that and we will have a float for our gravity down here and because we have it not included the animation class we ought to include that in there and if there's anything we've we've missed uh we can add that in later it's not too hard so what we're going to do now is we're going to loop through our attributes so remember we only have one dimension of attributes uh, so we'll loop through it like so and what we're going to do is we want to get uh, the certain 
properties from it. So if attributes i is equal to our image, then we will load the image. So image will be equal to al load bitmap and contents i and dot c string. So we'll say else if attributes i is equal to position, then we will store our position. So we're going to store it the same way we've always done it. And uh, where was the class where we set it? Uh, in our tile class, I believe it was. Uh, there was a class that we actually, was it our layer class? Yeah, it was probably layer. So if we go to our layer.cpp, and yeah, we had this uh, method right here. So we can copy what's inside here and just paste it in here. And we can replace, or instead just to make our lives easier, we can just say tau string is equal to contents i. So we got that and we can get rid of this return value and we'll just say position is equal to tile. So we've got our position set up and we've got, we've got our image set up. So now we can just say animation dot load content and oh, sorry, that should go outside the for loop animation dot load content. And we pass in our image, no text, and we pass in the position. So we got that set up and we can make a call to animation dot draw. We display it. Now in our unload content, what do we do? We make a call to AL destroy bitmap and we can destroy the image like so. Uh, so then we don't so we can get rid of whatever we don't need anymore for memory. So that is how the entity class is going to be set up. So now in our player.h file, oh yeah, and that's one thing I forgot. Yeah, let's cut this float rect, put in entity.h, and let's put our float rect, our, our rect right there. And what we will do also in entity.cpp is in our update, we'll just say previous position is equal to position. So that's just one thing that it will take care of for us. So our, our rect will be in there and also in our entity.cpp, we can just say that our rect and we should take the previous rect as well. So we can say our rect is equal to new float rect and we can just copy this from the player class. So let's just cut this, paste it right here. So we've, we've got that stuff done. And, and yeah, so now let us go to our, our player.h and we can inherit from the entity class. Now, if we're inheriting from it, we have to include it. Now we can, get rid of all these stuff right here because the entity class has all that stuff and all we need is a sprite sheet animation and what we're going to do in here is we don't need the file manager anymore and we don't need this stuff we don't need this animation and in our load content our load content is the same thing as it is in the an entity class so it's going to be a single singular vector of strings called attributes and another one that's called contents and uh, sorry again if you can't see this I'm not sure uh, if you'll be able to see this once it's edited so uh, we've got that set up so now if we go to our player.cpp quickly before this video ends is we can get rid of this right here and Let's just copy this. Let's paste it in there. So we can get rid of the, the file manager load content. And what's going to happen is we're going to make a call to entity load content. And we're going to pass in the attributes. 
and we're gonna pass in the contents okay so that's gonna handle all this stuff for us we can get rid of all of this so the move speed will stay the same uh it handles our animation for us we can get rid of all this so this is all we need to unload content now so we can get rid of all this stuff and all we have to do is make a call to animation not load content and we can call entity unload content simple enough now at the top right here we can make a call to entity update passing the ev passing the input and for the drawing we can just pass in entity draw so this is going to handle a lot of stuff for us and we will continue in this in the next tutorial so i hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching don't forget to comment and subscribe and join my forum and don't forget to follow on twitter and google plus and 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 facebook and all of them so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this and bye for now